All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level four of lesson six, variables and if statements. So it says using variables. You can create a variable using the variable block. Let's create a variable for the Y position of each rectangle and use it to update the screen. The code has already been started. You need to finish it. So do this. Create a variable and assign it a value. Drag out a variable block and give it a label on the left side of the equal sign. On the right side of the equal sign, type in a number between 0 and 450. Update the set property block so they use your new variable in this last position. Run the code. You should see all of the blocks snap together on the same horizontal line. Try rerunning the program with different values to see how the image changes. All right, so we're going to close this for now. We will open it in a minute, but for now we're going to close it. So it says create a variable and assign it a value. Oh, okay, so we got to open this back up. All right, we're going to go to variables and we're going to set one up. So give it a label on the left side. Um, let's say X. No, we want Y position. Yeah. All right. And for right now, we're going to say 200. I'm going to change that in a minute, but that's what we're going to start with. So update each set property block by typing your variable name into the blank. Set property rectangle one, which is this one over here, um, on the Y axis, and we're going to set that to Y position. All right. So if that works, we're going to run it. Uh-oh. Okay, so before I can run it, it looks like I've got to finish setting everything up. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to set this up. And then we're going to set this up. And then we're going to set the final one up. All right, and if I did this correctly, I'm going to move the cat. We're going to run it. Excellent. All right, so that did everything I asked it to do. It snapped all of the blocks together onto the same horizontal line at 200. All right. So the other thing I want to do is let's just have some fun with this. Let's do a random number. Instead of 200, we're going to put a random number in here, and we're going to set it somewhere between 20 and 300. All right. So every time I press reset, and I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Um, every time I press reset and run, so there's the first line, run. There's the second line. There's the third line. And so every time I press run, it's picking a random number somewhere between 20 and 300. So if I run it again, now it is at, oops, all right, so it's not going to show me. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of fun. And then over here for the variable watcher, if I wanted to say Y position, uh, which is our variable that we want to watch, it's going to say when I reset it, it'll say undefined. There we go. And then every time I run it, it's going to tell us which random number was chosen. So 87, reset run, 105, reset run. 108, reset run, 118, reset run, 257. All right, so that's kind of fun. All right, we're going to click the orange finish button, and I will see you on level five. Here we go.